Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take advantage of you. Hi, welcome to FTW Movie Recap. Today, I am going to explain a comedy drama romance film released in 2023 called Somebody I Used to Know. Spoilers ahead! Sean rushes up to Ally to apologize and set the record straight regarding the time they spent together without him disclosing anything about his engagement to Cassidy and approaching marriage, knowing full well that she will be shocked to learn of his wedding this weekend. When urged by his mother to photograph both the actual wedding and the preparations leading up to it, Ally realizes his situation and makes an effort to depart. Ally is unsure about whether she should accept this offer at all. She is starting to realize that Sean is moving on. Ally could not recognize the warning flags when she spent the entire night with Sean, according to Benny and Ally. Benny reveals that Sean and Cassidy have been dating for six months and first connected on Bumble. Benny also says that Sean went looking for Ally in the hopes of reuniting with her after spotting her in-town photo on the social media page of another buddy. Ally interprets this as a sign of good things to come and tells Benny she'll be joining the wedding group since she thinks she has a chance with Sean and she has a feeling he wants her too. Ally first attends the pre-wedding event in an effort to separate them. In contrast, Cassidy is able to see through Ally and what she is attempting to accomplish, but she resists letting Ally influence her. She feels safe enough near Sean, but she has a small amount of jealousy at Ally's presence. She doesn't give it too much thought because she can't let Ally interfere with the upcoming wedding. For the sake of Sean, Cassidy is acting all accommodating about Ally joining the wedding gang right now. Cassidy's surprise at Ally's interest in their wedding is understandable. She is now in a vulnerable position and wonders what Ally has planned. Just before the wedding, Cassidy and her friends, who have been in a band for a while, do their final performance at the neighborhood pub in Leavenworth. Ally is taken aback to learn the reason why Cassidy abandoned up on her desire to sing with the band. Finally, Cassidy admits to Ally that she thinks she's going to play the My Best Friend's Wedding trick on her and Sean. Ally says that he loves Cassidy, not her, and that she doesn't want Sean. Cassidy's concern is founded, and Ally now perceives that she is in the driver's seat when it comes to Sean. The only thing that Ally has going for her in this situation is that she knows Sean better than Cassidy does, and the two of them had a history of dating for a very long time before Ally decided to end things and relocate to Los Angeles. Cassidy's intention to leave the band is discussed by Ally along with her motivations. Cassidy says that because she loves Sean and knows how important family is to him, she's leaving the band to spend more time with them. Ally has a sneaking suspicion that her decision to leave the band is more significant for her than she is letting on. She also has a deja vu feeling that Sean would experience the same thing again. Sean and Sean's mother inform Ally about Cassidy's parents, who she has not had a good connection with. She makes it apparent that she hasn't spoken to her parents in years, and she doesn't want to in the future, despite the fact that Sean wants them to attend her wedding. Sean asks her to consider how she would feel in a few years' time if her parents weren't present for her wedding. Cassidy also admits to Ally that she lied to Sean about her parents' unwillingness to attend a wedding when, in reality, she never extended an invitation to them. Sean has also been made aware of Cassidy's bisexuality. She finds it difficult to be around her parents because of the conflict between them and her regarding her sexuality. While Sean places a strong emphasis on family and how close they should be, Cassidy is sensitive to her parents' concerns. Sean's parents adopted him, but he'd always been curious about his real parentage. While Cassidy recognizes his plight, she is determined to live a life free of her parents because she is too familiar with them. By secretly inviting Cassidy's parents to the wedding, Ally intends to sabotage their relationship. An offer has been made to Ally to continue her cancelled show on another network. If Ally accepts the position once more, Sean and Cassidy's wedding, which is about to fall apart, won't allow her to date him again. Even though she is not guilty, she feels horrible for unfairly placing Sean and herself in the same predicament as before. Sean is on the verge of declaring his affections for Ally and letting go of Cassidy at the rehearsal dinner when Cassidy's parents arrive, much to Cassidy's chagrin. 
Cassidy instantly ends her relationship with Sean since she believes he invited them. Cassidy feels overpowered by the way Sean just assumes control and makes decisions for everyone else without consulting her first. Since music plays a significant role in Cassidy's life, she believes leaving her band to support Sean's desire to start a family was a brave decision. When Ally meets Cassidy, she tells her to be firm about what she wants Sean to comprehend. If music is her calling, she should follow it, and if Sean truly loves her, he will have to put up with it. Cassidy is grateful for her encouragement, and Ally also understands that Sean needs to alter his expectations of how women in his life should act because Cassidy is still too young to be giving up on her passion of music. Sean makes peace with Cassidy and expresses his affection for her, demonstrating that he is aware of her passion for music. He will never attempt to alter the fact that music is an integral part of who she is. They make the decision to proceed with the wedding after Cassidy accepts to the union on her terms. Ally admits that she was the one who invited Cassidy's parents, but she expresses her regret. Because she understands that it is their time and that they must do their business without conflict, Ally chooses not to attend the wedding. The wisest course of action for Ally was to leave. After sobbing uncontrollably, Ally realizes she needs this resolution in order to finally let go of Sean. Ally hands over management of her relaunched program to her colleague before starting the project she's been wanting to work on for so long. The movie ends, Ally is content with the things she is now engaging in. She is happy with what she is doing right now and enjoys seeing other people happy, such as her mother, Sean, and Cassidy, who is also expecting a child soon.